Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. As a foundation, the Livestrong Foundation focuses on people living with cancer, and our culture, especially since the war on cancer was basically uh, announced by President Nixon back in the early 70s, there's been an extreme focus on research and the cure and on white lab coats solving the problem of cancer, which we've been very supportive of as an organization. We've basically supported a lot of increasing investments in research through NIH and the NCI, the National Cancer Organizations. At the same time, we're very, very clear about the needs of people living with cancer today. So as much as we're focused on the future and on what's possible in terms of what cures can provide, we're not going to see those, those cures for a while, many decades. And we believe very firmly in creating a better ecosystem for supportive people living with a disease now so that we can balance the two together because the marriage between cure and care needs to be better rectified. And that's very much what the big C is going to focus on. My background's been, uh, for the last basically 30 years, professionally focused on working with nonprofits in general. I started my career working on education policy. I've worked in housing issues. Uh, and I was really drawn to Livestrong because Livestrong, in my mind, was really looking at the entrepreneurial aspects and really thinking about innovative ways to support people in need. And my interests have been always about providing for people in need and Livestrong was doing that for people specifically in the cancer space uh, but that was really a draw for me personally. Within the world of oncology no one's done a competition in terms of social innovation around oncological needs, the needs of people living with a disease. We're extremely excited about inviting entrepreneurs in to think about problem solving on behalf of people living with cancer all over the world. Secondly is not only the competition itself, how do we create basically a quote sticky space for a community to evolve who can continue to work together on problem solving after the innovation competition is completed and that's what we're also very very excited about. I don't know if it's words of wisdom but certainly words of encouragement. Uh, take risks, think big, act big, know that there's a community that's in great need and the big ideas that we've seen applied all over the world in terms of technology and advancing companies, we want to really think about how can we provide a platform for big ideas, bold ideas around supporting people in need within the same equation. So how do you take your more, your, your deeper social investment and apply it here within this competition to make the biggest change? We're very excited about both supporting traditional giving through what are called grants, which we still do at Livestrong, but also looking at how can we be culturally relevant in working with both for-profit and not-for-profit ideas in finding the best ideas to support people who are facing the disease? We frankly don't care where those come from. We want to support the best ideas. Wherever those come from, we're supportive of them. I live strong, frankly, by reflecting on what I see every day and hear every day by speaking with people in the cancer community, learning from them about what they need. That's incredibly inspiring to me, and I merely want to reflect that and have my colleagues reflect that in terms of how we can best serve those people in terms of what they are asking for.